So something strange happened to me while I was playing Among Us. All these strange things that were happening to me were all being caused by one player, also known as Among Us. This player has caused many problems towards me and other players. He just floats us out of the scale. He will attack you and also cause your game to lag. I don't know what's his problem. But if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. But let's get started with this story. I was a crewmate and I was playing on the scaled. And the first thing that I did was go to navigation to do my chart course. But I was struggling to do the task. My screen was just glitching. I knew something was wrong. And that's when I closed the task and I saw something behind me. It was a Magus, but he looked very different. He then disappeared as soon as I turned around. Maybe I'm just seeing things. And it was just my imagination. So I left to do wires. And as I was doing the task, a body was reported. I asked her crewmates, where is the body? But I was being accused by Lisa. And I responded with, I was in storage doing a wire with Green and someone else. But she didn't seem to care and she voted for me as well as someone else. But luckily I wasn't ejected. But that's when I saw Magus floating out in space. The same one that I saw behind me, but he looked so different. I was debating whether to check out the window, but I think it's best if I stay in the center of the scout. So I entered electrical with a few other crewmates. And that's when the imposters did a double kill on purple and green. And the imposters were blue and cyan. So I reported the body and I let everyone know that it was blue and cyan and that they did a double kill. And Lisa was still blaming me. It's blue and cyan. Trust me, they did a double kill. And the imposters were blaming me. So I told the rest of the crewmates, look, vote for blue then vote for me. That's how confident I am that I'm not the imposter. For some reason, nobody was listening to me. White was agreeing with the imposters, but I wasn't ejected, but neither of the imposters were ejected as well. So I was back in the cafeteria and I was panicking. I need to call a meeting, but luckily I managed to press the button. So I said, listen, if it isn't blue, vote for me. Trust me, it's blue. It's blue and cyan. But then when the votes came in, they all voted for me and I was ejected. But Among Us was ejected as well. How were we both ejected? I thought he was outside already. I was honestly upset that they ejected me. I had so much proof that Blue and Cyan were the imposters. We were now in the next game and I had to keep an eye on these players since they were most likely teaming. I once again had the same task in navigation and when I got done I saw Amagas outside floating. He then disappeared and I ran away. I just continued to run but then Blue got me and they won. It was now the next game and I was the imposter. But I wanted to know what Amagas was doing here. It doesn't seem that he has caused any problems. But you know Amagas. You need to be careful with him. Since I was the imposter, I was plotting my revenge on Blue and Cyan after what happened in the previous game. But since Cyan was my teammate, I couldn't really do anything. So my next target was white. Cyan took out blue in security and we both ran away. I then decided to take out white in front of everyone. I didn't even care. I got what I wanted and that's what mattered. The teamers were no more. I just responded with a smiley face in the chat. I wasn't a fan of my teammate, but what can I do? But then something was hitting the scale, and I didn't know what it was because I wasn't able to see. The crewmates ended up ejecting me, but I didn't care. I wasn't trying to win the game and I got what I wanted, which was to get rid of blue and white. And it was taking a while for me to get ejected, but when I finally did, it showed on Magus as well. I then decided to check outside the scale to look for a Magus. I was looking everywhere, but then I saw myself. It was my crewmate that was floating out in space. And that's when a Magus appeared and took my body. I didn't know what Amagas was doing with my body. I can't do anything since I'm just a ghost. Amagas then left with my crewmate and I panicked and I ran away. Am I gonna be a ghost forever? I hope not. As I was floating around, I began to glitch and my body flew back at me 
and Amagus was no longer there, and then the game ended. I didn't understand why Amagus wanted my body. That is so weird of him. It's not like I have anything that he wants. I'm just a regular crewmate, just like you. But it's clear that Amagus has a problem with me, and I was getting really scared. Amagus also looked very different. He was much larger and had claws all over his body, and these red vines. He was corrupted, and he was after me and the rest of the crewmates as well. I'm sure I'm not the only one. I wanted to warn the crewmates about what was going on, since I was in a totally different lobby, but then we got into the game. We entered the game and there was only five of us, and the first thing that I did was go over to weapons and do the ash race task, since this task can take a while to do. But as I was doing the task, I saw Magus fly right past me inside of the task. I didn't know why that was an option, but I know that Amagus is outside, waiting for me to be ejected, so he can take me away. I was debating whether to enter navigation, but I just left. I don't want to look outside. So I went over to Electric when that's where I found Gray's body and I reported it. I let the crewmates know that the body was an Electrical and I was suspecting Purple as the imposter. So I voted for her. But nobody was ejected and that's when I saw Magus out in space. And it looked like he was getting closer to my screen. And I didn't know if I should do the task or if I should just look around. I wanted to take care of the other crewmates that were with me, so I began to look around the scale to see if I could find Amagas, since he was causing many problems. I continued to search across the entire scale for any sorts of clues that Amagas might have left me, but then I could hear sounds coming from outside. Amagas was trying to break in, but he couldn't. The only way that he could get in is most likely from trash. Or if he really wanted to, he can enter the engine from the back. The noise was getting louder, and it sounded like Amagos was breaking in. And then that's when I heard an explosion outside. Amagos broke in, and then Purple got me, and the game ended. I was really concerned over what Amagos was trying to do to me, and it was only getting worse. Because Amagos was now inside of the Skeld, and he can be hiding in any corner. I was walking around the scale looking for the opening on where Amagus might have broke in, but then a body was reported. We ended up all skipping since we didn't have enough information, and Amagus was no longer out in space. That's when I knew for sure that Amagus was here, and while I was in the cafeteria, I could hear him. So I panicked and that's when I saw Amagus. He had massive claws and had vines coming out of his body. He was then getting closer to me and my screen was glitching. What do you want from me? Amagas then showed me a picture of the puppet imposter and was wondering if I knew where he was. And I said no. So Amagas got really angry and put up the entire scale up in flames. He's not after me. He's after the puppet imposter. If you would like to know what happened next, make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel and check out these other stories.